Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Coach Tobias Forst, founder of Achilles Life Coaching and welcome to today's topic, your wealth and narcissists. So when a narcissist approaches you, they usually come from an air of superiority and of grandiosity, trying to impress you in order to over time have you depend on them for them defining your reality. So you um, you pay them what they need which is narcissistic supply narcissistic supply you can basically imagine this as a sort of ten commandments a sort of coin that you pay them so that they feel they get their self-worth from you because they are incapable of generating that for themselves reality looks a bit different when you can maintain or come back to a clarity of mind and to the realization that you actually have a huge amount of power because the narcissist needs something from you while you really don't need the same thing from them. So what is your coin in narcissist world? attention whatever they do and they say and they will do so very often and in very short intervals you should pay attention to them according to their creed so thou shalt pay attention validation whatever they say or do it is grand it is amazing it is incomparable to whatever else you've seen in your life it's just the best of the best your next coin is tolerance thou shalt bear their lies and their bullshit so you need to be tolerant when it comes if you ask them for whatever they do whatever they say if they cheat on you if they lie to you um, you ladies and gentlemen better man up and woman up and show some tolerance because they are what they are and um, it doesn't go the other way around it's not vice versa it's not mutual but this is one way where they expect you to pay your tolerance coin then we have loyalty loyalty you bet thou shalt not have someone else aside of the narcissist the same doesn't of course apply to the narcissist because he's loyal or she's loyal to him or herself but you had better be loyal to them this is your loyalty coin this ladies and gentlemen is your compassion coin because when the moments come when they display when they play the victim card the system is against them their mother said something about them that was invalidating whichever it is and the examples will be endless and when the victim card comes you are expected to pay the compassion coin last but not least this is your coin of image protection because thou shalt not criticize the narcissist for whatever he or she does so despite the fact that they try to create an, a power imbalance toward you where you have to look up to them it is in fact they that they want something from you so it's despite all the simulated royal demeanor in which they approach you what's actually in your presence is a beggar or a junkie or both at the same time begging for scraps at the feet of kings and queens i know narcissistic abuse has the power to make you forget that with all the gaslighting and manipulation of your reality increasing your self-doubt sowing it cultivating it until it's a huge forest that you can't really 
get a glimpse through and realize where you actually came from and how it could have turned out to be what it is right now. So let's go back to taking your power back, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> let's imagine the following. When I, by the way, when I talk about a narcissist, you imagine uh, as you please if it's a man or a woman. It doesn't really matter for the example today. So imagine you're standing in a group of three people, you being one of them, then there's Steve, and then there's Jeff. Steve is a normal person just like you, and George is the narcissist. So I might mix up George or Jeff, whichever, the, the G or the J, it's the narcissist. So Steve, the normal guy, is elaborating on something. He's, he's talking about whatever. You're paying attention, um, but George is uh, visibly getting bored because uh, Steve is not validating him in any way. He's, Steve is not paying coin to, to George. So George interrupts Stephen with something else entirely, answering questions to the both of you that were never asked by any of you. And Steve has not yet realized what George is. You, on the other hand, have. You know what he is. You know what his, uh, where his limitations lie. So there are several ways you can react now. Because let's say Steve's reaction was to allow the interruption and keep quiet out of a misguided respect. You can do the same and give George his moment in the limelight. There you go. Here's a bit of attention coin. Maybe some validation while we're at it. There you go. Or <clears throat> because it was in the middle of the story of Stephen, you, you want to change back to, to what Stephen said. You want to hear the story. So the possibility that you have is that you can just look over at George and he might think, by the way, you look at him that, oh, this is coming, attention is coming. And you just smile at him and, and say, hold on. And that's the coin that Stephen gets right now. And you ask Stephen, what then? What happened next? Stephen goes on visibly visibly positive to, uh, to uh, the way you changed, you framed the conversation here because he got interrupted and uh, you readjusted the setting so that Steve can continue his story. Now the narcissist, good old Jeff, is very likely to interrupt again. There's a way you can escalate this because he escalated by doing it the second time and with your first of genuine smile showing the attention coin basically but removing it at the last second and handing it to to Steve you might want to be a bit more pattern interrupty touch his forearm smile at him and and just go ahead and Try this, ladies and gentlemen, it works miracles. Just thank you. He might be wondering, thank me for what? But while he's wondering, he's quiet. And your attention coin again goes to Stephen. And Stephen continues with his story. So, it is a matter of your gut feeling. What's the most appropriate reaction? At whatever happens with George whatever George tries to do in between yes you might want to pay part of the, the attention quarter here so yeah okay mm -hmm. and then you go back to Stephen it's important to go back to Stephen because Stephen is not in a position and frame of mind that he he he's not capable of doing that himself and what you're setting here is a diplomatic way of 
you're what you're doing is you're setting a healthy uh, healthy boundary here you're not attacking him but you're interrupting the interrupter you're stopping him with a smile hold on we'll get to that i'm curious about what you have to say after that stephen and when he escalates feel free to either escalate yourself touching the forearm thanking him for nothing in particular just say thank you touch the forearm interrupt his sphere his his privacy in a mild way and return this one to Stephen so that Stephen can finish his, his, his story George on the other hand might also interrupt again because it's the most vital thing that he tell his story and uh, because S Stephen's input and your input of course as well as you know is the most boring thing that can happen because it doesn't validate him in any way validation coin nothing here for George so you might want to relocate with Stephen just say I'll, I'll be right back move to Stephen go away a few paces and continue the story last but not least ladies and gentlemen in the case that you allow because you have the power in case you allow George to interrupt and talk at some point you might still want to withhold the validation coin attention yes but within limits feel free to look around in a board way as the narcissist usually does when you speak and just be boring mm -hmm. ah cool look at Stephen encouragingly show Stephen that you're right there that you're seeing with alert eyes and in an awakened state that you know what's happening and encouraging him Stephen in his possible insecurity as to what's going on here that you see it and it's fine it'll take some time and then you Stephen and you will go back to talking about his story and his experience so going back to the coins attention validation tolerance loyalty compassion and image protection these are yours ladies and gentlemen and you're sitting on a wealth of it and you have the power to spend whatever to whomever you choose do not allow yourself to be robbed someone might beg you for it then you might offer it or not you might give a compassion coin at some point so that until the narcissist deflates at some point if you can expect that but choose wisely you with all your wealth who deserves it who deserves your attention who deserves your validation who deserves your tolerance who deserves your loyalty and your compassion and who does not require you to protect their image that's been so carefully constructed based on lies you're rich ladies and gentlemen remember that the last comment to this video today is always keep in mind the difference between a narcissist who's a an emotionally unregulated grandiose child in an adult's body compared to an actual child the child ladies and gentlemen the child has potential thanks for watching if you like this video, 
feel free to click the like like button subscribe and um, if you want to get a hold of me personally Leah <laughs> then feel free to hit me up on Achilles minus life and book a session and I'll see you next time take care ladies and gents